Okay, I heard about this man who told his friends, you know, I've been reading so much about the negative effect of sugar and fast food. I finally made a resolution. So what is it? No more reading. <laughs> I want to talk to you today about I am Yosef. I'm Joseph. Big expression. I mean, one of my favorite phrases for many reasons. This week's Parsha. The reveal of Joseph to his brothers. When he finally said, I'm Yosef. But before that, I want to mention, I don't know if you were aware, that yesterday was a fast day in the Jewish calendar was the 10th of Tevet. Okay? It's a minor fast. That means that it goes from the morning to the evening. Okay? It's not like the Yom Kippur or the Tisha B'Av. Those are 24 hours fast. This is a shorter one. And, and some people maybe wonder, say, Rabbi, I've never heard such fast day. What do we commemorate on the 10th of Tevet? Do you know what we commemorate on the 10th of Tevet? Okay, let me tell you that there is a, there is a, a what I call a one, two, three. It's a progression of three dates that they are somehow connected. And the three dates are fast days in the Jewish calendars. And those are 10th of Tevet, 17th of Tammuz, and the 9th of Av. Okay? And they're all connected. How? 10th of Tevet was the beginning of the siege of Jerusalem by the Babylonians, okay? Fast forward, six months later, or well, sometimes seven months, when we have two months of Adar. Six months later, you had the 17th of Tammuz. That was when finally the Babylonians breached the walls of Jerusalem. And the battle, that it was somehow contained to the outside, not the battle, was the, the inside of Jerusalem. Fast forward three weeks from that, 17th of Tammuz, and you have the 9th of Av, which is the destruction and burn of the Holy Temple and the beginning of the exile of the Jewish people. Now, what is interesting about this is that rabbis connect the three dots, right? But they say that we observe these fast days as a warning and, and, and to remember the implications of the destruction of the temple. And especially, the rabbis tried to explain why the temple was destroyed. They said the temple was destroyed for two main things. Idolatry and baseless hatred. Common language, they hated each other. We're talking about the Jewish people. They couldn't live together. Okay? So the 10th of Tevet, this fast that we just have, is a warning. Right? We are not together. The enemy is around us. Right? If we don't change, if we don't do anything to correct that, eventually comes the 17th of Tammuz, six months from now. This it seems to be like a, like a long time. Now what happened? Because the lack of unity, the enemy is in the inside right now. And once the enemy is on the inside, it only took three weeks for the temple to be destroyed. Can you see how it's going faster and faster from one stage to the other? And this is, this is, this is interesting because this dark day of the Jewish calendar, the 10th of Tevet, comes just a few days after Hanukkah, which is all about the light and the brightness and the unity. So I say, how, how is it possible? We just celebrated Hanukkah, the unity of the Jewish people, a big success, thanks to the unity. And right after, we have the Asara, the Tevet, the 10th of Tevet. And the answer is very simple. That's life. We celebrate unity and right away we forget. And we fall into the trap of this unity of the Jewish people. And this is something very important in these days. Because uh, I don't know if you have the same experience that I have. After the October 7th terrorist attack, I've seen unity like I've never seen before. And it was amazing. 
It was amazing. We have this feeling that when we are united, we can conquer everything. We can, uh, we can take any challenge if we are all together. But the question is, are we going to remember that message of unity? Or we are going to forget it right away and fall into the tenth of David right away. So it's very important for us after the days like tenth of David to remember what happened when we are united. We have the miracle of Hanukkah, or we are not united, where we are fighting each other. We have tenth of David, seventeenth of Tammuz, and God forbid, the ninth of Av. And that brings me to this week's Parsha. This week's Parsha, we have something very interesting. As I mentioned before, this is when Joseph finally revealed to his brothers and said, I'm Joseph. And the rabbis explain when he says, I'm Joseph, he's using his Hebrew name to reveal to his brother. Remember, up to this point in the Parsha, Joseph was known to his brothers as Tzafnat Paneach. That was the Egyptian name that it was assigned to him. They couldn't recognize him. As soon as he said, I'm Joseph, they recognize him as his brother. And the rabbi said that it took a long time for Joseph to be ready for this moment, to be able to say to his brothers, I'm one of you. Why is that? Because he was hurt. Do you remember what his brothers did to him? All the fights that they had between them because, you know, it was jealousy. Uh, they sold him. And now Joseph had all the rights, all the rights to be angry at them. All the rights to embarrass them if, if, if he wanted to or to take revenge against them. But instead of that, what he did was to put aside all the hurt, put aside all the anger, and for the sake of unity, said, I am Joseph. Why was so important unity? Because he knew that very soon they would all live in a foreign land. And if they were not united, they would have no chance of survival. So putting all the bad feelings aside, he taught us that sometimes we have to do the same and to say to our brothers and sisters, doesn't matter what they did to us before. Doesn't matter if we couldn't stand a conversation or we couldn't be together in the first room. It's time to be like Joseph, to put all that aside and for the sake of unity and for the sake of survival to say, to say I'm Yosef. We are all brothers and sisters. And if we want to have a chance to stand what's coming in the future, we have to be together. So, the rabbis say that the tenth of Tevet is a minor fast. It may be a minor fast, but it's not by any chance a minor warning. So I believe that the solution is in this week's Parsha. If we want to have a chance in the future, let's look at each other and to say, I'm Yosef. You are my brother, you are my sister. Shabbat Shalom.